got fun and games We got everything you want Just call out our names Whatever you may need will make your dreams come true In the sand zone The adventure awaits for you Step into the magic Feel the energy Open up your mind Set your spirit free Welcome to the sand zone Oh, oh Take a step and go Welcome to the Sven Zone You'll never be alone Welcome to the Sven Zone You'll never be alone Welcome to the Sven Zone Where dreams are shown Welcome to the Sven Zone Where the music plays Dancing in the moonlight Enjoying sunny days In this world of wonder Anything is possible Come along and join us Let's make it unforgettable All your hopes and fears They will disappear Feel the love and joy Let it all be clear Welcome to the Sven Zone Oh, 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 oh Welcome to the Sven Zone Take a step and go Welcome to the Sven Zone Hello everybody, I'm doing a little bit of Swade Savage Worlds in the Sven Zone. Uh, I, in the middle of reorganizing everything and so I don't have my extra stream up um, and I hit the wrong camera so I'm trying to get join on. There we go. There we go. All right. So one minor issue resolved. Um, thank you again for shout out to Marbanya for being our marshal tonight. Uh, Savage World uses oh you know the players can't hear me now they can hear me um, oh, maybe yeah. nobody could hear me I don't know we'll have to we'll we'll see but regardless uh, shout out to Marbanya for being the marshal again. Taking over, doing uh, some Swa Day Savage Worlds in the Sven Zone. And nice. we're in the, the last part of um, The Devil You Know. So I'll go ahead and turn it over to Marbania. Take it away, sir. All right, very good. It's uh, It's been a couple weeks, so I'll do a quick recap. You guys uh, uh, were you know, operating as a group. You know, a, 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 let's call you a small agency, much like the Pinkertons, but much, much smaller. Uh, you know, you're adventurers in the, in the wild, weird West. Uh, and you heard there was some strangeness going. You were in New Orleans and you heard some strangeness was going on up around Nacogdoches, Texas, over in the big, uh, big pine, or what's it called? The, 
big piney brush or something like that. It's really thick undergrowth. And you get over here and you meet uh, a family of nice people that are also looking for the same thing you are called the Waitleys. Um, a little odd. Maybe not so nice all the time, but, but you know, you guys get along okay. Uh, and it turns out that, that it might be a family member of theirs that uh, was quite old. 250 years, 300 years old, something like that. Uh, and you tracked her down out in the swamp. And uh, she seemed like a nice you know, middle-aged lady at first. And then she turned out to be not some nice middle-aged lady. She disappeared and her son came home, which was a big devil thing. Um, and so here we are. If you guys need, I will share that combat map once more. Um, is... Uh, Martian Cat not going to make it tonight? I haven't heard from her e either way, so okay. we'll see. Uh, we will see then as we go down. But you guys were in the middle of combat. I had it at round three. Um, so I, I'm not really sure where, where we'll go from there. But before we do anything in Savage Worlds, one of the first things we always do is reset Benny's and adventure cards. Uh, normally I would not do that until after a combat encounter is done but this is not the easiest of combat encounters although I think you guys will handle it pretty pretty well but it wasn't meant to be super hard so I am going to reset adventure card reset bennies some of you didn't have bennies some of you had already burned your adventure card to use because remember, you most of you only get one to use. Some of you may have the ability to ability right. to play two, but I don't know. And then with that, a uh, couple other things. Um, Ming Lee and Dakota. The last thing that happened last round with uh, Wichita was that she cast Warrior's Gift and and basically allows you to, to to play any combat trait on apply that to anybody uh, anybody else's character and she upcast it split it to two people and gave trademark weapon to Ming Li on her fists of fury death uh, and Ming Li being played by Mr. Rhino I think who's connecting right now yep. I'm very good so he will have a plus one to hit and damage now with his fists and they are uh, noted as magic weapons and Dakota as well. And I think it was on the Tomahawk. Am I correct on that? I know I did it for two people. That's all I know. Mm -hmm. I think it was on the Tomahawk. Um, uh, because that's what she was using at the time. I think so. I think you're right. Right. So now it is on the Tomahawk. If the Tomahawk is thrown, I will have to change up the verbiage a little bit on what I've done to your characters, but I put, uh, coding is really pretty simple in Savage Worlds. You basically give it a name and then put the square brackets and what it does inside. Fighting plus one means that you're going to have a, a plus one to your fighting trait roll or your fighting skill roll. Uh, and then damage plus one. I, I, that's probably going to apply to any damage you would do. So if you're not, we just subtract one from... If you say, okay, I'm going to pull out my Derringer and pop them well... That doesn't have that cast on it. So we would just go ahead and let you roll it and then subtract one from the damage. One typically doesn't amount to much. Uh, so with that, does anybody have any questions on uh, on where we're at in the game? And there's not really, shouldn't be too much left to this encounter, but I will remind you all, this is Savage Worlds and it can turn nasty that fast. <laughs> Am I showing up as coming through? You are very well. Okay, cool. It's not there yet. I thought Ming Lee was a girl. Not. She is. Uh, Ming Lee is a girl. Yes. Okay. Because you said he. That's I was confused for a second. Okay. Well, yeah, let's. I don't uh, have any questions. You summed it up pretty well. Very good. Let's roll to the next round, round four, and Dr. Max starts 
And uh, hopefully the right person's controlling Dr. Max now. Kita, are you the... Uh, no, Man Mantha. No, Mantha. Mantha, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. It's Mantha, yep. <laughs> now, both, both of you don't talk at the same time. It's really freaking me <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, Mantha. Dr. Max, it's your turn. Yeah, uh, sorry. I, uh, I'm i playing on a different computer. So, okay, uh, that's fine. I realized, like, oh, shit. I have to, like, load up all the modules so that I can look at what things do. Do you have anything going on in your star science kit right in a second? I don't, but I can okay. fix that because I've got something queued up here. I was making sure, trying to see if it worked. Okay. I don't know if... Yeah, um, so Dr. Max is going to go ahead and uh, he pulls out his reliably reversible reductive apparatus. And we've got this big old demon thing in front of us. Uh, uh, and he would like to try to uh, shrink it. Um, okay. Let's uh, check something real quick. Down, it should be. Yeah, because this thing is uh, plus two in size. All right, so let's see how your apparatus works here. Um, shrink reduces the size of the subject one step for every two power points. Now, this thing is two sizes bigger than you, so uh, that would be four power points to spend if you wanted to try to make it your size. Um, a maximum of size minus two, so that's a, that would be the max you could go with it. Uh, each step reduced. Uh, decreases strength by die type, uh, one die type to a minimum of D4 and a toughness by one. Ha ha ha! Okay, nice. for unwilling yeah, targets, I want to reduce the toughness. Um, right. Can I shrink it down to like minus one? No, you can't because Sorry, it is size two. Yes, it is size two, and the max you can go is, is uh, uh, minus two. So you can shrink it down to normal size, which is zero, which is the size I, of a man. I thought the size two is, the parentheses after that is saying that size minus two is the size of a cat. And not, not saying you can Oh, a maximum of, of size minus two, approximately the size of a cat. Oh, okay. Well, it does read different if you read the parentheses. I thought, why do I need to read the parentheses? <laughs> Um, when you get a chance, would you shoot on the map once more for Reno? Absolutely. There you go. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so yeah, so I guess if you could, you could make it smaller than you by a little bit. Uh, you know, by say the size of a gnome or something, if you spent six power points on it, doing it. Okay. Um, I would. Man, I'm kind of banking everything on this, because um, I would also like to add the fatigue modifier, which is another plus two. Plus two. Okay, uh, that's power eight points. power points. Uh, so if you wanted to go to size minus two, the size of a house cat for this thing, that would be a total of two, four, six, eight, and then ten for fatigue. Uh, another two would be ten for fatigue. Sure. Um, if it's a house cat, would it be harder for people to hit it before I? Um, it will be hard. Yes, because the smaller something is, the harder it is to hit it. The larger something is, the easier it is to hit it. So you're going to trade off. If you get down to that, you know, the negative numbers, you're trading off, bringing the toughness level down for. Uh, you know, making it harder to hit. It's not really toughness. It's just. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. Let's just do it down to uh, the same size as us then. Okay. So, uh, it would be two, four, and then 
six for fatigue. Yep. Uh, All right, let's say that uh, let's okay. say that magic and roll, I that roll uh, weird science roll. In a bit. Yeah, show me, show me, uh, tell us how this thing sounds. If it if we get a success on this or a failure, you can tell me how it sounds too. <laughs> And, uh, let's see, I need to oh. allow that. That's, let's see. Oh, it's a, it's a, uh, a range device, huh? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's distracted. That's why. That's right? why. Yeah, well, great. It's distracted so, and vulnerable. Right. Um, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for... A shrink. Uh, um, yeah. It is an. I'm assuming it's an unwilling target, though. Um, so I would like to target. use a Benny to try to re-roll this and make it better. Okay. Drop that Benny right back on that uh, D8, or you, or you can do it that way. Oh, I thought that would work. <laughs> I tried. No, to, uh, just oh, roll your attack again. Into the chat. Yeah, if you drag it to the dice itself that failed, uh, that's a hit with the rage. Okay. So, what happened? it doesn't really say anything about a hit uh, with a raise, does it? Much better. You know what? I, it doesn't say anything. It doesn't, it doesn't do any improvement. Uh, let's see. Other than... Opposed by spirit. Okay, I see what you wanted to be. You wanted him to have to beat that. Okay, so you rolled a six. Uh, let's see what the Caldwell Devil uh, will roll here. Uh, where's his skills at? Spirit. Oh, uh, nice. Let's see. Now he does have a. I'm gonna. I'm gonna use a Benny. If not, then he's probably going to die with <laughs> use it. Uh, let's see, spirit roll. Well, I don't love ah, that. There um, we go. There we go. Okay, so rip. it doesn't shrink. I guess it doesn't work then. Yeah. Um, so Dr. Max uh, pulls out this, uh, this ray, and uh, it's got, like, all these... Uh, like different lenses in front of wherever the beam comes out and mm -hmm. he's just over there in the darkness just fiddling with it and putting one down and pulling up another lens and trying to like calibrate it but, uh... to fix the damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool you know what and, that, that is your and uh, Benny. he that uh... <laughs> Oh, thank you. And uh, he uh, aims it, and just like one of the screws was loose, and like moved one of the lenses, and he didn't realize it. And so instead of uh, hitting it square on, it hit it like it like clipped the wing as it just flew past the uh, the. Damn the devil. lock! Doctor Max goes nuts. <laughs> He's not happy. Uh... He's raving and ranting, and uh, goes over here and kicks a tree. Raving and ranting, pissing and moaning, whatever he wants. He is doing all of the above. Uh, let's see. What did I... I just click a character? I hope not. Uh, who's turning? Wichita. Okay. So, this is the first time I'm going to be able to use this this entire campaign. <laughs> okay. I want to cast Blast Biting Insect Cloud. Oh, blast. Um, okay, it's a medium burst template. Yes. Um, so it says that my range is uh, my smarts times two. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. one second. I can still hear myself. That's, I need that you is, to so like move the phone to much slow further away. down and start to talk like this. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It really does. <laughs> Um, so your smarts is eight, which times two would be sixteen. So sixteen of these squares, everything is well within your okay, range. Okay, cool. So yeah. it's perfectly within range, so I don't have to use any PowerPoints to do that then. Um, yeah. And then it 
also said when I was reading it that I could do if I hit an extra extra damage with a raise. What's a raise? Is that just using more uh, points? A, a raise is whatever it takes to to hit or succeed plus four more. So and, and it's based off of it typically takes a four to succeed on something. So if you roll a four, that's fine. If you roll a, a four and or you roll your dice and it's it's an eight, that is that is a raise. It'll tell you when you when you roll it in there if it's a okay. If it's so a it's like based on luck. Okay. Uh, well, it's ba- yeah, it's based on the luck of the dice roll. Gotcha. Of the die, dot. Well, no, it would be dice roll. Okay. Plural. All right, so then I want to attack with the Biting Insect Cloud. Okay. Um, I want to put the template, though, like, because I know it's a medium template. I want it to go out. <laughs> Sorry. You, you don't want to I get want Dakota. it to go out. Yeah, I was going to say, for, far enough that it doesn't reach any of my That's fine. Teams. We don't even have to worry about drawing a template because there's nothing around there. But Perfect. Okay, cool. So I can just roll to attack. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's a hit with a raise. Yes! And it should go. Wow. don't know the sound um, yeah it's a it's a trigger that Matakuri set up and he <laughs> i guess he picked a rather long one for for uh would be insect cloud probably biting insects something like because i think there is something in dnd that's called that too um, oh do you guys have sirenscape up okay yeah. Yeah, i'm just sitting uh, here in dead silence like what's oh, going on <laughs> no it was it was like all of a sudden your head was inside of a beehive <laughs> Okay. It was loud. All I could hear was. <laughs> I was like, I don't get what's going on. A hit, isn't that good? <laughs> uh, that 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 is good. That's a hit with a raise. Okay, so roll cool. your damage against uh, dude here. Okay. Ooh, go 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 go! Wow! Wow! Nice. You know what? I should try to soak that, but I think he's going to need those bennies elsewhere. So he's got Look two wearing. He starts staggering sideways. He goes backwards like that. Paint a picture for us. Um, so I've been sitting in the dark this whole round looking through Fairy's eyes, and I see the, the devil come down and start fighting with my teammates. And from way far away from my safety, I just kind of like – cast a little spell from my fingertips and you just see a horde of like insects and bees and all sorts of stuff just rise from their slumber in the surrounding trees and just converge on one spot and immediately just start biting and gnawing at him as much as they can. And I'm smirking Very a little good. bit. Very I want good. her to tell my story. Uh, that was well, one of the... That's a wonderful <laughs> story which uh, earns uh, a Benny. I like Ooh. to... I like to have a way to give extra bennies, uh, especially in a big battle like this. So, telling me a joke, uh, you know, a, a dumb fa- a dumb dad joke is is great. Dumb with a joke. <laughs> oh, don't don't do not start them, please. I beg you. <laughs> well, I, I take that from Jingo. Yeah, uh, they have a uh, gazillion. Some of them are good. Some wow. of them are just terrible. Wow. Man, yeah. that's bad. No. Leave. Um. Does it do anything well, besides the worse damage? they are, the funnier um, it is. I'm just I am not an honestly positive. Um, see, there's like a lot of modifiers to it. I, it says that they suffer damage, but I think that's pretty much it. Didn't you say something happened with the rays? That's why I did extra damage. Oh, okay. Did you get? Yeah, you did get three d six. You got that area effect armor piercing. It didn't matter. Damage plus two. You could have had. Uh, There's a hinder, hurry, shroud. Oh, the damage plus two would be. Oh no, that doesn't. Uh, T glow shroud. Heavy weapon didn't need a heavy weapon hinder. So you could have slowed it down, or sped it up. 
uh, lingering damage. There's your ongoing damage. So for an extra two points, you could have done on the victim's next turn, she suffers the power's base damage minus one die type. Uh, so it would be base damage is 2d6 minus one die type. So it would take an ongoing 1d6 every round. Uh, but you need to declare that, you know, beforehand. Yeah, right, okay. Right, right. right. All yeah, right. And then selective would have been you could have dropped it right in the middle of the crowd and for plus one said, I only want to attack, attack this character. Right there. Okay. Was, uh, yeah. So she could but have possibly hit both her uh, and the devil, the, the yeah. woman, and tell it to ignore Ming. Right. She could have okay. just dropped it right there. Yeah. Oh, it's a, that's too small. Okay. That's too, Never mind. Yeah, it's not point. letting me change my PowerPoints, so I'm just going to keep a... I just um, tried with two different keyboards. Thank you. Just um, type you, in it. That's the best PowerPoint advice I've heard all night. You hold control and scroll the wheel on the mouse or hit minus or plus over the field. Uh, so, Wichita, power... Wow. Wait a second. I know. I think I... Your... No, I didn't. I accidentally deleted it because I wasn't... I had 15 out of 15 because I remember last round I did something that used up all of Fairy's PowerPoints that he basically just holds for me. And uh, then it was going to be my turn and I was going to use my PowerPoints to do the Biting Insects Cloud, but we didn't get to okay. it. So how much did you spend all the um, Three PowerPoints. Yeah. Okay. So you hmm. would hold control and then put your put your wee, uh, mouse over the, ah, the PowerPoint okay. on the left. There you go. And scroll down. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Yeah, okay. it's it's a little it's it's a little hug. It's some some. It is what it is. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Uh, a little bit of jankiness <laughs> makes us like it more. It gives it character. There you go. There's j- another jankiness. That's perfect. I understand jankiness. Um, okay. Anything else, Wichita? For you? Uh, you nope. Got fairy coming behind you. Um. Well, actually, wait. I'm going to move a little bit. I'll move. Right over here. <laughs> Very good. Just a little yeah. bit further. Slosh, 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 slosh out into the swamp. Yep. Um, now, Fairy is not on the map. Did, no, here, here he is. You see him? No, he was over by the cabin. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I was looking in windows and stuff. Oh, is it Fairy's turn? Is that. Ah, uh, it is. Okay. By the way, he doesn't have to go after you. He uh, just goes on your turn. So you can have him do something to aid you. You see what I mean? Like he could have went before you and then right. you did something. Gotcha. That's okay. cheating. I'm not cheating. <laughs> well, it's Savage World. They give you these little perks and bonuses for a good reason. Because with just one really... Well, you saw that I had two exploding dice earlier and completely negated the... Yeah. Um, wound damage so yeah yeah. okay i think i'm just gonna have fairy run up and attack agatha leads okay why not she's She's already got two people in front of her so my hope is that when she decides to attack on her turn that (laughs) she'll go for the bigger target oh my gosh well it's it's a slim possibility that i mean there is a possibility and fairy might do some damage. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, you can move fairy's token. You should be able to grab it and move it. You've got control over it. It's just making me move the map. It's not letting me move fairy. Okay, so you want fairy to move right up here. Yeah. Yep. And actually, he he little bitty feller. Alrighty. Let's shrink him down. Here so. goes a little bite. A little bite. He can turn your ankle. Is there flanking in the Savage World? I don't remember. <laughs> Is there, what was that? Flanking. flanking? Uh, that, uh, it's not flanking, it's called uh, gang up bonus. And it's automatic. So uh, oh. if there's three green tokens around, you should have seen that. Um, you didn't target? No, I. It's yeah. nothing is working oh, okay. on my screen. <laughs> All right, so. I'm that, super trying. Let me, let me do this because this you should see it happen here. It'll automatically calculate uh, Ming Lee and Mr. Dillon. It'll say gang up bonus. Uh oh. 
I got an error. <laughs> combat tracker is combat and grips. Da, 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 da. Manager core scripts. Doesn't that mean we, we win automatically? Uh, no, it doesn't. Everybody <laughs> loses half their PowerPoints. And, no. Um, <laughs> uh, it has something to do with core, so they've got a problem with core. Um, ah. So it, didn't, it did not do, but it would have been gang up bonuses. Uh, gang up bonus should have been automatic. Where is my sway Is it strictly a, a flanking situation, or is it also on the side? And it's also on the side. If, if they're being okay, cool. Yeah, ganging up. Let's uh let's share that with everybody if you want to open that up. Allows attackers to flank exploit openings and generally harass a foe. Each additional adjacent foe who isn't stunned adds plus one to all the attackers' fighting rolls up to a maximum of four. So you would have got plus two to that. So that's a four. So let's come back over here and go to Agatha Leeds. The attack on Agatha Leeds was uh, versus, uh, that's not it. That still did, oh, that's Meng Lee, Agatha. I don't see an attack on Agatha Leeds. Uh, Cause he did, she accidentally targeted it. Do you want me to do it again? Yeah, yeah, just drop it, it right on. Uh, I think I have it targeted now. There you go. Oh, well, good. It's a much better roll. Okay, cool. Uh, still, it doesn't. It's got to so have something to do with uh, you running that NPC sheet, I would imagine. Maybe. I'm also broken. running two character sheets. Yeah, it's. Uh, but you're attacking with, uh, with Fairy right now. Yeah. And so. So eight bite claw, Wichita fairy biting claw. Let's drop it on. And that eight should be a ten, because yeah, ten. ten. Uh, so net. Go down to Agatha Lee. And that makes it a hit with a raise. So go ahead and roll your drop your damage dice right on top of Agatha Lee's token right there on that. Unharmed toughness six uh, raise damage is it the, what happened? D mm. five, D six, three, four, five. But minus He just tries to bite her ankle and gets the leather instead. Oh of shoe. Because he's at because he's at minus three to damage. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Guy. Yeah. <laughs> Little guy. Yeah. Yep, so it now you can you can I should have let you Benny that if you wanted to. Um so let's put sure, that I'll do that. Okay. I've got I've got lots of money. <laughs> okay, there you go. Uh, do I just throw it in the chat? Uh, drag the uh, the Benny right to the damage dice for that attack, and it should say rolling again for whatever it is. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're so gonna give. Yeah. Okay. You yeah. can't get through the the sock. Well, it would have a D six because it had a raise. <laughs> Yes, it would have. So roll a d6. I'm rolling a d6. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, four, so it still would not have gotten past your toughness of six. Yeah, same okay. as you did last time. Yep, same. Boo. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I thought you did great. Little guy did his best, all right? Okay. Okay. Is there anybody that is like super damaged in our party? How do I tell that? Uh, no, nobody's damaged. And uh, Mingli is, she's got a fear penalty on her. She's having a hard time handling her fear uh, of this devil. It's it's something unusual to her. So okay, I don't think that's something that. She can help it. <laughs> no, I don't see any um, damage to the party members. Okay. Yeah, we're just not good. But... You guys Maybe... have rolled pretty well. How many... How many knives does she have? Does, does Aida just have the one knife? Probably. Knife thrown. Mm. It says thrown. Does that mean it's already been thrown? Uh... 
Or does that mean that... Oh, she yelled from the distance it, it hasn't uh, been No, say next to it, it says one of one. If you would have thrown it, it would have... It would there wouldn't be anything in that first box. Gotcha. It would, okay. you, and it would tell you that you're out of ammo. All right. So for knife slash, Aida needs to be right up next to it. Okay. Um, so we're gonna move right there. All right. That'll give you a plus one flanking too, or a cool. plus one gang up bonus with. So I get to add one in the modifier box. Um, just go ahead and roll and we'll see if, because it really should automatically do the gang up bonus. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to roll for the attack. That was not a good attack. Uh, Wait, we're fatigued. What? Attempt to call method lower. See, core RPG, scripts, manager effect. Uh, huh. I don't know. It's a it's a weird error that's never been thrown before. So, must be something from this last update. Well, we're just gonna Benny it. Okay. We're special. That's right. And why is she fatigued? I don't remember, but that's a hit, right? Uh, it will be a plus. Got to get put. plus one anyway. Yeah, plus one. Which cancels uh, out the fatigue. So now that it's. Okay, let me close this. This keeps. Is there some way to turn off that console window? I know there's an error. I don't. I don't need to see it every time <laughs> it happens because it's not. Uh, let's see. The call ball devil attack is for Perry seven. Uh, actually, it it made the. It says here that the attack is a six. So it added it in the background. She rolled a four, and uh, and then it's vulnerable, vulnerable. plus uh, vulnerable plus two is six, but gang up bonus should have been seven. So hang on. Hey, guess what? That's a hit. Nice. Seven's it a hit. Not ca- yeah, nice. it's not calculating. Uh, if you look at the combat tracker, you should be able to see the the hit pending underneath whatever you're attacking. Can you guys see that too? Call the devil vulnerable plus yes. two my equals six. Well, in the combat tracker, you should see attack seven, defense oh, seven yes. uh-huh. equals a hit. Okay. Yeah, I want to make sure you could see that. All right. So uh, that is a hit. So now we need to roll some damage on the call the devil. Okay, cool. Here's the tough part. Yes. You got to get past the um. toughness of 14. Do you want me to try a Benny it again? That's up to you. I'm not. Oh, I'm asking her, the one who wants the character. What? All right, we're Bennying it again. Okay. Wait, what did we have to get past? 14. That's not even possible with a 2d4. Oh, yeah, it is. It'll explode. Uh, it's it's a 2d4, it'll explode. If it lands on four, it'll explode. And every time it lands on a four, it'll explode. I saw um, uh, um. J. Rob do that one night. I thought he was playing an Indian brave, and he got into a fight with. He comes into this new this camp, right, of all these different members of different tribes that are gathered on the outside of this little town. And he said, I'm going to look around. Who's the biggest guy in here, the meanest looking warrior? I said, the guy with all the notches on his coup stick? And I said, yeah. I said, he's about six foot six. Great big dude over there. He's probably a Shasta Klamath Indian. I'm going to go over and attack him. I was thinking, oh, no. So this this monster of a guy just almost snaps J. Rob's character in half. And he rolls to soak like five or six wounds and soaks them all because of exploding dice. And I'm like, okay. So J-Rob goes to attack the guy, and the guy had something like a toughness of 12 or something like that. And J-Rob's dice explode. Boom, 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 boom. Killed the guy in one shot. Damn, like a David That is Savage Worlds. (laughs) That is Savage Worlds. It can happen and will happen. And all I can do is say, sorry, uh, right over there is the steps in creating a new character. (laughs) Yeah. Sorry, I clicked end turn and it did stuff. 
It did. did <laughs> uh, yeah, it did, uh, it did stuff intentionally because the Caldwell Devil is still shaken, but he can't. He can't be shaken. So we're gonna spend a penny to remove shake, which didn't do it. There we go. At any time, you can use a Benny to remove shaking. Um, he's distracted uh, and vulnerable for another one turn. This is the last turn for that, according to D1. D minus one. I wonder why it says minus one. Um, i tell you what he's going to do. He's going to disengage with you guys. Uh... That's rude. Rude. That would be Sven Gal uh, clocking out for the night because she has to go to work. So right, I'm right. playing I... Aida for oh, her. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Kita is playing Aida. Uh, let's see. He is. What the heck? Is it dis... uh, it's not called disengage. It is. Oh my gosh, I'm completely drawing a blank. There's an effect I can put on him and then you guys can attack him as he tries to pull away from you. Um, here it is. He is going to defend as he, dis as he disengages with you guys. So anybody who's next to him, and attacking with melee, but uh, yeah, you've got a knife in your hand and she's got a tomahawk. Yeah. Either one of them can attack him right now. Cool, let's do it. Free attack. <laughs> Combat. There we go. Damn it. Uh, that would be. Wait a second, distracted and vulnerable. It's a mess. Well, it was a free tag. It's okay. <laughs> That's right. Are you on camera, sir? I must have bumped a button. Okay. There you go. I've got a lot of windows right here, Sven, and some of them are on top. <laughs> like I got my cameras pinned on top so I can see the other players and stuff. And I tend to be flying around a lot with a mouse. Um, and who is that? Was him, Devil Aida? That was Aida attacking. Now Dakota gets an attack too, if Dakota so chooses. I don't remember who Dakota is. Dakota, I don't think anyone is Martian Cat, but ever. nobody's playing Dakota, are they? Okay. Let's do this. Then. I mean, heck, I'll play three characters. You don't mind playing three characters? I can, no, that's I fine. I can take Dakota, too, if you want. Okay, cool. Whichever yeah. One. You should take Dakota. Okay, so... My little tiny screen is filled with too much. There you go. <laughs> Dakota is now available for okay. your gaming pleasure. And she just felt... She just saw a glow go through her tomahawk. And wow. she sees like these ancient runes on the side of it because of the warrior's gift. Combat. There we go. Knife. Tomahawk. Okay. Tomahawk, huh? I'm hacking Tomahawk. Why is it, it won't let me target it, but that's okay. I'll drop it. Oh, you probably need to select Dakota as the... Man, that's driving me crazy. I'm going to have to figure out what that error is. It's all brand new stuff. Roll was a natural roll. Oh, it's a myth. Okay, so the Caldwell Devil, which has a finish, oh, 
is going to to what is its running value? Let's make sure it's Caldwell Devil paces eight, so no. Yeah, run die is a six. Okay, eight. And uh, running two, so it gets an extra two. Ten. This thing leaps into the air. Four. Uh, five that way. And... Five that way. And if you don't have dark vision, it's probably going to be really hard to see that thing in, the, in a moment. We've not really been playing with it up, though, so uh, let's see. Enable lighting. Oh, we have been playing with it. Okay, I see. I'll, I'll put, uh, put player's view on so I can see that. Very good. Uh, Caldwell Devil, like he's booking it. Dakota. All right, so Dakota is. All right, so on the combat tracker, let's see. Does have him targeted, according to the combat tracker. Yes. All right, and what's the action economy for swift switching weapons? Uh, the, 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 there's not really. You can easily, right. so easily like tuck your tomahawk away and pull your bow if that's, yep. that's what you want that's to do. Exactly what you're doing. Yeah. It's a hit. Nice. Oh, unharmed. Um, six, twelve. I'm gonna go ahead and try it one more time. All right. There you go. Go, baby, go, baby, go. No, not uh, enough. <laughs> Too, too shy. No. Okay. All right. Well, came, came close. Yeah, it's going to take some of those exploding die to hurt this thing. And end the turn. Ming Lee. Yes, I'm going to uh, use my fists on Agatha. I think I have her targeted, right? Oh, yes, yes. So she's targeted. I just used the yes. fist. Yes, she's targeted mm -hmm. for the combat tracker. Yep. Okay. Ooh, nice dice. It's weird. Mm. It's respect. So it was good. Taking turn. Uh, I think she needs a six, but you're. Yeah, gang up bonus, that would have been. It still didn't target her. I, I, there's some really weird stuff going on here. And there was a strange late update on a Sunday. I hardly ever see. And it, it was right. uh, some Savage World stuff. So something's going on. That, uh, uh, so let me let me target this again. Uh, yeah, I'll stop messing with it. <laughs> there we go. Uh, that is a hit. Stop. But I want to awesome. look here because it's... Nice. One, two, it's just a hit. Because you had two people around, you should have had another plus two. So So, I get, so how do you roll the, is it the one on the right there? Yes. Yeah, that's it. Yep. That's for damage. Awesome. Now with that. Oh, not too Ooh, bad. Ooh, that's weird. She's going to try to soak that. And, and she does. She soaks it? Uh, what does that mean? She should have. She, she used a mini to... Oh. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. No, no, no. She did not. She got three. She failed. 
Uh, so I apply the wound. And this woman is hurting. She, You hear her scream out, and as she does, you hear a laugh coming from the from the darkness, like from this, from the depths. where this beast is flying away into the darkness here. <laughs> By the way, I'm going to where he's at right now. Nobody here has dark vision, I don't think. So I'm going to use the global effects, and uh, it is now dark. If you are attacking the devil. Now, if you're attacking Agatha, I'll turn that off. So, that should uh, attack and notice should be at minus four, but it should calculate automatically. It's getting harder and harder if this thing's... Um, anyway, you hear the devil laugh as she takes this damage and screams out. That behavior well it is a devil <laughs> yeah but don't I remember something about like her being the one that summoned it and if we get her mm -hmm. the summon will go away this uh, it seems what, weird yeah. for it to be laughing about that's what it's, she has that's what Shadrach uh, she's forcing Shadrach to do it her will so if she dies he is free that's how I interpret that Shadrach told you that if you kill her, it, it would kill the, the devil, too. Uh, the nice Waitley man that you spoke with? Yep. All right. Ming, are you finished? I think so. Unless she gets a devil's right. In which case, I will do that. Yes, if you, if you kill her, you'll kill the devil as well. This is what he told you. Uh, and he's the only and he's the only one still alive remember mm -hmm. you guys found their camp just shredded and uh okay uh, Ming, if nothing else hit the little arrow there down this says next next actor at the bottom left corner oh. of the combat tracker and it will okay. pass it to the Enter. next person Agatha who shaken is removed uh, oh. remains oh no remains shaken it disappeared again uh, because Huh? Camera. I did. Yes. And yours did. T yours did. I'm looking at myself. Okay. That's oh. why I was asking. Let me refresh. Yeah. Oh, I see. Uh, I see. So oh. she remains shaken and has no bennies to try to re or to remove that. So down arrow, Chunk Norris. Uh, yeah, Rhino, will you, you want right to play now. an extra one too? Or anybody else want to play uh, an extra it, character? I prefer to, but I will. If it needed. If we need uh, it, then yeah. Well, I'll just play Chunk then if uh, nobody else wants to play him. Because it's. Well, I will play. Soon. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. You can, uh, let's see. I, uh, I think you can open him. Open him. Uh, Go over to player characters. and characters and, and select Dunk Norris there. Okay, cool. Do I need to refresh, Finn? No. Um, I don't see you on my video, but you're on the stream and I see you on the in OBS, so you're fine. Okay. So I'll uh, give you a second to look over old Chunk's character sheet there, his combat. He didn't have any powers. Uh, matter of fact, he's a Texas Ranger. That magic hoodoo stuff didn't go over too well around here. Right. All right, so, so he's Chunk got knives. He's got knives. He's got, uh, he's got a Colt Thunderer handgun, a single-barrel shotgun. Okay. Right. Looks like it's a single shot. Okay, yeah, so so I would so what, what am I shooting at again? Where am I? The only thing you can shoot at is the woman, because the you can't see the devil anymore. Yeah. Oh, he's like okay. 
Right. I will do that then. I... No, I can't. There's nothing I can do. I can shoot into the air to try to try to uh, arc it, some some buckshot into him, but uh, <laughs> what would be the minus on that one? Well, there's this there's this character over here that you can see because there's a a light sitting. Right. There's a lantern sitting on I like that stump right there, isn't it? Yep, I set it down. Okay. Right there. Okay. Oh. That's yeah, it. So okay. You, yeah, so you can I'm see her. Oh, you're not right. seeing anything? Uh, no, no. Ah. Okay, let's see. There's nothing there. Um, yeah, I can't shoot Agatha because I'd be hitting me <laughs> for one day. Uh, if you Agatha. if you crit failed, but now here's the deal: this guy's trained in guns, so it's a pistol. You know, you would have to roll two ones. You're what? Forty feet away. Right. I yes, can make I that shot 12. in real life. Uh, the range is, so it's, uh, you're 12 and the range is 12 is the top end of your short range. So you're within range of shooting her. So I, can I move first and then shoot? Yeah. But that would, that would, t would take my minus away, right? Would take your what away? My, my disadvantage. Your disadvantage. Uh, I don't think you have, you have a disadvantage. That's what he's saying. He's saying you're within range, so you're good. Oh, within. Okay, that's all. okay. But I can still move, couldn't I? Yeah, you can still move. Um, okay, you're, well, I'm moving as far as I can that way. Yeah, his pace is five. If you look at the uh, chunks uh, second tab traits, the, the traits. yeah, look at the traits tab. The derived stats. Yep. It says pace is a five. Yeah, five. So yep. but yeah, because he's he's a little older and he's a little overweight, so he doesn't move quite so quick. So you're gonna move forward a couple shots, a couple steps. Okay. Behind yeah, them, there you uh, go. pop great. out behind them trees. All right, so I got to shoot that target yet. Yeah. All right, where is this thing? There we go. All right, so I'll just I can just roll the. Yeah, now that she's targeted. The, uh, mm -hmm. Yep, she's targeted. Right. I'm mm -hmm. waiting for my combat tab to. Oh, wait a second. Let me uh, let me turn this off. So there we go. So illumination. I turned it off so you could attack her, or else it would have affected. You. Oh, nice. That's pretty close to a crit Oops. fail, but uh, can I use my Benny? You can drag Next a Benny time. right down to that attack die. The the attack die you just rolled. Drop your Benny right on it, and it'll re-roll it and say re-rolling whatever it's at. On, on the on the. Uh, okay, let's try this. Okay, here we go. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Using a Benny to re-roll. See. If you just throw a Benny in the combat tracker, we don't know what you used it for, but you can drop it onto any dice, and it will say using to reroll. The dice <laughs> Still on, the, uh, on the chart. Yes. Yes. That's what I did. Yes, and it worked fine. Yes. Well, oh, okay. It should, anyway, are you talking about dropping it on the die in chat or on the die in your character sheet? In your character sheet. So. Um, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Chunk, it's still a mess. Yep, I know. Don't forget to check your uh, adventure cards, too, folks. Be the last tab yep. on your character sheet. Uh, okay, if nothing else for Chunk, you want me to pass his turn? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. That was me. Yes, well, unless he can do something else, it's wonderful. Uh, well, you, you really need to say, I'm going to do two actions and then tell me what you're going to do. So, uh, no. you're in, yeah. in Savage Worlds, you're supposed to declare what you're going to do before you do anything. Uh, so, okay, that's cool. Yeah. Um, let's see who's next. Mr. Dillon. Mr. Dillon. Yep. So, I'm going to blast. I have to add all this stuff to it. So, first of all, I'm going to... Uh, for free, focus the blast to a small blast template. Okay. Then I'm going to add damage plus two. I mean damage, so it causes 3d6. 40, Sorry. 4d6 <laughs> with a range. Okay. Then uh, I'm glowing, which is awesome. <laughs> <That's a pretty laughs> so you're gonna use glowing. the glow thing? 
<laughs> no, I accidentally applied it because I was trying to read oh. more info about it. <laughs> Got the pregnancy glow. Uh, and then I'm going Radio. to do uh, selective so that Ming doesn't get blown up. Thank you. Okay. And the last thing I'm doing is lingering. And Damage. you're using which power? The blast? Blast. So it okay. What is your blast? One, three, uh, right, seven, nine. and four, five. So a total of five plus the three you start with. So eight. Wow. Power points that, to try to over half. destroy this lovely lady. Um, and so as you see, he starts waving his hands, whispering, and these, um, again, these little dark forms, little shadows, little hands sh show up, picking up rocks and things. He's got a, a little pouch. They dumps into the air of bolts and screws and nuts and things that he's picked up along the way, spent rounds, uh, and they just start swirling uh, into this ball, and he thrusts his hands forward, and it shoots out and just explodes like a grenade. Uh, and it all comes right toward Ming, and then just sort of there's this little blackness that sort of knocks it away from them hitting Ming um, and uh, you hear a little giggle and, and it lets one or two little pieces come in just enough to annoy her uh, but the most of it blasts against Agatha and do I have her targeted? I don't see no. you have okay. her targeted. Nope, I targeted myself. There you go. See no errors from that. Okay, that's a hit. Alright, so as these shrapnel goes flying everywhere, slams into her. Um, so it does it was not with a raise boo so it just does uh, 3d6 goes to add the nice <laughs> gang up bonus nice, oh, nice. okay <laughs> all right spin um i'm gonna tell you that this isn't a real person and it becomes obvious when you lay these five wounds on her, so I want you to tell me what happens. So as these shrapnel hits her and tears into her, uh, you see these hands and things, they almost like um, playing handballs, and then they ref slam it back into her, and they mm -hmm. keep hitting and r ripping into her um, as it's this blast shows up around, and, and I'm my eyes pupils go black as I'm whispering in, in this language that no one else can understand um, and you can almost hear whispers back as these forms just out of vision, the corner of your vision appear and, and blast tear into her and then you see Minutes after her death, she rapidly decays and crumbles into moist ash. The best kind of ash there is. Moist. <laughs> <laughs> this was no, written no. in the days before moist was such a like bad that. word. <laughs> uh, so you guys who none of you I don't think can see the devil out here anymore because you don't have night vision flying around yes <laughs> my heroes and then you hear these wings swooping around in the darkness gnawing and tearing and gnashing I shall go and again 
Well, that's very we will We will meet. And then you will be my foe. I was a poet and didn't know it, but my tongue shows it. It's a long fellow. And it flies off into the night. Lovely. No. Oh, I was going to murder it. So, <laughs> obviously... Obviously, uh, let me remove him from it. Um, killing her did not destroy the devil. And it appears you've unleashed one in the, the thick pine, pine thickets of, you know, but who knows where it's going to go, but it sounds like it's going to find you guys later. So there is, you know, I always like, if, if, if this was a, a full, full campaign, I leave little hooks in, you know, if somebody happens to get away, uh, they, they come back to usually to plague the party later, or maybe they go to their house and they kill their family or something like that. You know, it's, you got to let those bad guys go every now and then. So you have crap like that to do to people. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, yeah. and I'm not kidding. I wish I was, but I'm not, um, Let's see, and he flies off, and that was so. Right now, you guys are out of combat. Uh, you kind of stand around for two or three minutes, and the 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 wings fade. Uh, it'd be awfully hard for this thing to sneak up on you, so you're pretty sure it's gone. And she has crumbled into moist ash. Of course, or ash is there? Oh, 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 oh I did it wrong. There we go. So I'm going to look. All right. Go ahead, Sven. You will pick up my lantern. And, uh. I suppose we should check the house and try to get some sort of evidence to turn in. Of course, we've already got the authority right here, so. You can take your notes there, Mr. Norris. I'm not okay, sure no, what that was I was looking at. So is the uh, second one the same size or is or the one that, that came out originally? Second one. Here I'll I'll Never unlock mind. the token. Uh where's the token locked it. There we go. Show me that one. Uh, the second, uh, what? Well, there is no second devil. That's it. It was her and uh, the devil that she had okay. summoned. You guys did okay. actually end up handling that pretty well, other than you did not defeat the devil. And I didn't figure you would because of his toughness. Um, but as you, you said, you're going to look around for some. Okay. Let's see. There is. If I can. All right, so if the posse searches Agatha's cabin, a successful notice roll might uncover some. Yeah, there's something multiple people can do, or only one? Anybody who's searching the cabin. Okay. Y'all going to come in here and help? Sure, if we must. That damn. What's what's the go back to that camp? Finger do I see if my arms are can? Uh, Mac. Yeah, that uh, uh, so that would uh, and for sure uh, did not. Man, I, I you're breaking up so much. Oh, it's the like robotic. Okay, I'm, no. I'm laughed. It's fine. Um, you hey, you're I'm fine. gonna switch to. No. Um, because the computer's being weak. Oh, I'll be right back, and then I'll say it. Okay. I'm not going to search anything because I have a very low notice. I'm not very. Good at looking savage things. worlds <laughs> so does exploding dust? fairy have a better notice uh, the pick him up by like the, I'll pick him up by the tail and swing him around he does have a better notice <laughs> I guess fairy can look around inside the cabin 
I mean, I, I just presumed a ferret would be digging around and looking through everything anyway. Well, probably. <laughs> probably. Oh. It would be finding all the little bits that of half-eaten food on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, anybody that wants to give a notice roll uh, and... or any of your NPCs that are looking around the cabin, Dakota. feel free to do so. Gotta find Dakota. There he is. Um, notice. Uh, both the same. Oh. <laughs> Somebody exploded. Uh, yeah. Uh, Dakota did, and that is a raise. You needed a four, you got a nine. So that's a raise plus one. Um, I'm going to do something real quick. I... Disabling the lighting, disabling the line of sight. Quick little map that I threw together on. Uh, what, what was it called? What do I have? Oh, Incarnate. Okay. Incarnate. Yeah, Incarnate's got. They, they make good maps. Um, all right. So Dakota digging around in there. Let's see. If the posse searches Agatha's cabin, a notice roll uncovers a damp and smeared letter. All that can be made out is. Lead town. Summoning requires sacrifice. Hey, Chunk Norris, you know where this lead town is? Quite feasibly. So Chunk comes up in here, and uh, let's see. Chunk, give me a common knowledge roll. That's on the main page. Mm hmm. Treats. Yeah, I'm ready for my thing. There we go. I'm doing the what? Which one? Common knowledge. Under your skills. I'm just, second I'm just still... On the traits tab. Oh, traits. Okay. Traits tab. And Common under knowledge. Under skills. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I call it traits. But yeah, okay. Get it. Mm -hmm. uh, that was not too bad for a, for a four. Sorry to die. Yeah. Uh, except <laughs> He's how come it hill. You're so, uh, wait a second. How come Chunk is not... It didn't roll the wild die, did it? Roll that again. Let me see something. Okay. okay. For common knowledge, correct? Yeah, common knowledge. Okay. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. Okay. It's just, it's just not showing on the... Well, he rolled exactly the same thing. <laughs> um, yeah, you're like, well, I don't think it's in Texas. <laughs> ain't, no, ain't no lead town I've ever heard of. Yeah, say that. And Wichita, you got see. anything? Or Dr. Max, you guys have any kind of potions or something that can repair this letter? Uh, nope. Does where's, where's Ming Lee have anything? I fan can, slash a letter. I can break it. That's it. <laughs> but I can't fix it. I can break a lot of things. Yeah, uh, Dr. Max is outside the cabin. He's kicking that stump. He's like ranting and raving. He's uh, hopping mad. He doesn't that. Uh, and also, healing can heal a piece of paper. Uh, I don't can't is, do anything either. <laughs> Why is Dr. Max so mad? Why is he mad? He's been tricked. Because he's shrink. He's been tricked. Shrink rate. Uh, oh. Yeah, his shrink because rate didn't work. But no, he's mad work. that. Uh, no. Here, I. Now that you guys can freaking hear me, let me. Uh, let me say that again. Because okay. I just ended up typing it out. Damn, Waitley lied to us. I say we go back to that camp. I got a thing or two I'd like to see if my all well cured south can fix. And he's over here just hopping mad that this fucking, this Waitley told us that, oh yeah, if you kill her, it'll kill the devil. And instead, it just made it more powerful. And yeah, so he's hopping mad. He, I don't know, he kicks trees now. That's a thing that I've done like four times tonight. So that's a new character. Tree. Tree. <laughs> Hopefully you guys still tell boots. 
It's well, better than a shit kicker. It's, it's, it's the um, opposite of a tree hugger. <laughs> he's a tree kicker. If the, if the heroes approach during the day, they find the cabin empty. Roots, drying leaves, and animal carcasses hang from the low rafters, and a rank smell of rot fills the cabin. Uh, with success on a tracking roll, the heroes discover more of the strange footprints. That didn't play out that way. Um, she doesn't allow anybody into her home unless her son's home. That played out that way. So basically, there's like some spell casting components and stuff that obviously. Uh, you know, this, this cabin might look like a medicine woman's cabin, an herbal healer, a hills doctor, um, to any common person, but Wichita, uh, and Chuck Norris also walks in and, you know, he's, he's all this anti-magic stuff. He kind of takes special note of it looking around. Uh, Mr. Dillon, Dr. Max, any of you casters would know that that this is more than just a like this woman's been casting spells in here or whatever <laughs> she was good old magic spell residue i'm going to be picking and up anything that's small metallic any kind of nails or screws or bits or things i can find put them in, in pocket those as well aida is there okay. anything in here you can use with for your medicine stuff herbs and stuff um i don't know let's see that's a notice roll right yeah do does oh, i yeah. need a notice yeah there's stuff you guys that you would use in here um, and, and looking at your roll reminds me that some of you are fatigued i can't remember what happened last session that caused that there's a couple of you ended up fatigued <laughs> Now, I Aida that, does that, have the ability to save herself. <laughs> I, yeah, you may want to do that, or you may want to just now. It, to, the bottom line is this is you know it's going to be a short night because it's the end of the session. Um, that is the end of the one shot. Uh, you know, you guys could have killed them both. Uh, they both could have escaped, or uh, or one or the other could have escaped. Why don't you bring and that I, monster back? We'll take that on. And I think <laughs> that it's perfect. Plus. Um, the letter, it says right here, uh, the posse searches Agatha's cabin, notice Roll uncovers a stamp letter, all can be made out as lead town. This is a reference to another of her spawn's attempts to summon a terramental, uh, or a, whatever. Um, and then there's another, there's another savage tale. So it's just a hook, is all it is. So if you guys, Sven, you get down the road someplace, you want to run another Deadlands one shot, which usually takes about three sessions to get through a one shot. There's more, and there's bring the this. Monster back. Bring the monster. Bring the monster. Back. <laughs> Just start fighting anyway, each other. You guys yeah. are a great group. I'll shoot great chunk group. in the face. Of course, <laughs> now <laughs> I like the question. Was great group yes. even in question? <laughs> um, Shadrach Waitley is nowhere around when you get back to uh, Caldwell. Well, of course that scammer took off. Yeah, of course he fucking took <laughs> off. But that just actually let me uh, let me let me. Which one's more like mental fortitude, spirit or vigor? Spirit, mental fortitude. I think would be spirit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, uh, Dr. Max is, uh, calmed down a little bit. He doesn't quite uh, lose it. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't quite lose it, but, uh, <laughs> he's calmed down a little bit. He's like, okay, yeah, I guess I would have left too, but damn it. <laughs> he's mostly now mad that it got away. <laughs> when I say this, this group has another little <laughs> hook that it could, you know, so, Sven, if you guys get down the road and you guys want me to run another one, but, uh, thank you very much for having me. Uh, Thanks for, really uh, being from our you're quite welcome. You're quite welcome. Absolutely. We appreciate you very much, Marbanya. I had a uh, lot of fun. The, well, good. Good. It's yeah. a fun It's a fun yes. rule set. It really is. Yeah, I did like this. It's, uh, it's much more um, uh, <laughs> storyteller friendly, and it allows the characters to, you know, you can, you can spend a penny. Of course, it all has to be with Marshall's approval, but... Uh, you know, somebody could have thrown a Benny and, and say, "Hey, I I know, I know where there's a lead town." 
Really? So, you know, uh, maybe not that because it's really story involved, but you can use a Benny and spin your own stuff into the tail. Um, it's it's just a really cool rule set. Nice. I really like it. Hey, thank you all again. Even Atomic Hero Squad yes, said thank you, thank you, you Vanya, uh, yes. in the chat. Good so. to see you, Atomic Marsh. Hero Squad. I, uh, Martian I Cat, I'm sure she says thank you. Oh, yeah, oh she good had a lot of fun when she was playing, so, yep, that was awesome. Yeah. All this right. was a fun cat character. Yeah. So where can we find, where can people find you, Marbania, mm -hmm. if they want to see you again? Uh, Thursday evenings at 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and all times going west or east, whatever, do your ad and, and subtract. Uh, 8 p.m. Eastern, I run a program called Savage Thursdays at twitch.tv slash marbanya. Twitch.tv slash marbanya, M-A-R-B-A-N-Y-A. And that's in the chat. Thank you. Um, I do have another, if, I mean, Savage Worlds is, is a rule set that you can run any genre of game. Yep. So, um, I have, uh, I took a, a game that uh, Mr. Martian Cat, uh, Mr. Jingo, is familiar with from 1984 Avalon Hill Games called Lord of the Rings, <laughs> or not Lord of the Rings, uh, Lords of Creation. Right. And it's basically a multi-genre thing where you, you're hopping through time and space and and you're, you've got like a personal force. Your, your characters were born with a personal force which gives you powers outside the norm and uh it allows me to throw any genre i want to anytime and i've i've rewritten all of it into savage worlds and i think it's another good one shot environment if i decide to to develop it but i've got i think there's 20 adventures in this uh grim prairie tales for deadlands here very nice yeah yeah we've done um jingo has run a couple of Savage Worlds for us. We've done the A Team. Uh, we've done the Three Musketeers. So, uh, and we also did a Deadlands as well. That was our very first one. So, uh, my very first introduction to Deadlands, Jingo ran me through the Three Musketeers thing. Me and Venerick, and uh, <laughs> then I got to play with uh, Doug Davidson himself um, wow, in nice. Orlando. In Orlando, at a table with real dice and everything, it was cool, uh, which is kind of funny considering it was this uh, fantasy grass thing. Uh, anyway, uh, you guys have a all right, guys. We will let you go. Thank you week. so much. Don't forget to come back next week. We're going to do some more uh, Starfinder. Two weeks, we start a brand new campaign, so come back and check it out. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and whatever else you do, enjoy the rest of your day. Say good night, guys. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye.